The TSA wants to make sure you steer clear of any trouble this summer travel season, and they've got some high-tech tools to do that. The TSA, TSA is relying on facial recognition technology to not only speed up the screening process, but also keep travelers safe. And as summer travel ramps up, officials have an important reminder about something you need to do before you head to the airport. Paula Tupman is helping us get ready to fly the friendly skies. Facial recognition technology, certainly not new technology, but certainly technology Metro Airport is using. It is saying and selling as a faster way to get through security checkpoints. So the passenger will insert their ID. Passengers at Metro Airport can now opt in for a faster trip through passenger screening. Photo will be taken. Photo's been taken. Now the officer will get a review of that photo and ID. It's called CAT2. Nifty acronym for Credential Authentication Technology. It's a machine that quickly and efficiently validates a passenger's ID without those few extra minutes of a TSA agent looking at your ID, looking at you, looking at your ID, looking at you, authenticating that it's you in the ID and then name matching the ticket by using facial recognition technology. It takes a matter of seconds to process as well, compared to what we did previously, which was a very manual process. Reggie Stevens is the TSA Federal Security Director for Michigan. Not only more effective, but from a passenger experience side, really only three steps, which is inserting your ID, taking a photo, and then returning your ID to you. He explains that while this is a time saver and says that the images will not be stored, simply used for on-site verification, understanding everybody may not be interested in participating in facial recognition technology, passengers can opt out and go through ticket screening the old fashioned way. Participation in the CAT2 pilot is voluntary and you can always opt for an alternative method of identity verification. Paula Tupman, Local 4. And another big message from TSA, leave the guns at home or make sure they are safely and securely checked in your luggage. So far, 50 firearms have been stopped at DTW checkpoints.